I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I was watching the Democratic National Convention late last night into early this morning. And President Biden was speaking. He was reeling out his achievements, his statistical, statistically verifiable achievements, not emotional um, achievements, so to say, like as we see in Nigeria, or uh, hyping. But he came to a realization that he needed to step aside for Kamala Harris to come forward and take over the race on behalf of the Democrats. Because of his interests, his love for his country. An African president, a Nigerian president will not do that. He would want to stay in that race even if they are using a wheelbarrow to push him to campaign. A Nigerian president will have been propelled by the greed of his family, by the wickedness of his, the clique around him to still continue in the race and rig the elections and still stay in power. That brings me to the topic of this discussion. Former President Goodluck Jonathan, please go home and rest. Don't let these charlatans push you to spoil your name. If President Buhari, former president, or former president Buhari squared, because he became president twice, had stayed in his retirement, he would have earned a good name as an anti-corruption individual and a strict disciplinarian that I admired when I was a young man. He was president when I was in medical school 40 years back in my final year. And he came back and messed up his good name. President Goodluck Jonathan, former President Goodluck Jonathan, you are an elder statesman. There is nothing you have not seen. There is nothing you don't own. There is nothing you have not enjoyed. You had a good name by preventing this country from going into chaos. If you had refused to step to concede defeat to President Buhari, we would have had a bloodbath because President Buhari is a bloodthirsty individual. You remember his statement about baboon and monkeys seeing blood, and people were killed. National Youth Corps members were killed. There was violence in the north. He came into power and messed up the economy and has replaced himself with the individual that pushed him into governance. But you stepped aside. You allowed Buhari to go into the office peacefully and you end national and international acclaim. Number two, the economy was very good in your time. The, but it is not the same situation today. You don't step into the same river twice. By the time you step into the river again, the water you stepped into had gone away. The fishes that were there had gone away. The things that were floating had changed. Even the pH of the river, water can change and the volume of the water can change. So President Goodluck Jonathan, Stay in your house and rest and enjoy your wealth and enjoy your peace. Enjoy your wife and enjoy good health. You have earned a good name. The economy in this country, the security situation, the bad roads, the things that the refineries, petrol prices, the indicators of everything have changed drastically. You might not have the mental capacity, the physical capacity, and the will to run this country as at now. Remember, you're not a very strong-willed person. What we need in this country is a young man, a vibrant man, an intelligent man. I'm not saying you're not intelligent, but 
an intelligent man, a man that has courage and will to step on toes, a man that is willing to turn this country aright and fight the cabals and fight the wicked men that have put us in this position. Good luck, Jonathan. You don't have those qualities as at now. Even if you have them, the circumstances will overwhelm you. Please stay in your retirement. Rest. And I wish you long life. Prosperity. Prosperity, you have already prospered. I wish you long life and good health. Please, remember, people don't change. The same people that ganged up against you. Remember when people who are close to you, were close to you, were holding meetings at night. Remember when National Assembly was meeting in odd hours because of you. Remember, remember, people don't change. The, the, the scorpion is instinctively a stinger. The same people pushing you will betray you and sting you again. They want to use you as a stopgap because they don't want another individual to come in and defeat Tinibu and stay for eight years before it reaches their turn. So they want to use you as a stopgap to win, to stay for four years before they come back and continue their evil. President Goodluck Jonathan, I defend you when the protesters that's not I defended you, no. I defend you now because the protesters who protested against you has, have suddenly become deaf and dumb. And it was unjust for them to protest against you. They are still there waiting for you to come. When you come from a minority tribe, like as I come from, people think that you are vulnerable and they can treat you like trash. President Goodluck Jonathan, take this advice the one I gave when you were in governance, when I was preaching in Port Harcourt, and your boys were in that church, they refused to tell you. I hope this will get to you. Don't contest elections again. Go and rest. If you can leave politics, go and rest. I have a seminar coming up, a webinar coming up on the 13th and on the 14th of September, tagged Sustainable Development in Life, Ministry, Career, and Business. Send a message to plus two three four. 7052136763 people are registering from all over the world god bless you